morning all. So uh, as you can tell, the sun's out, it's quite rare. Um, and as a result, I've decided to pop out and do some infrared photography. Um, so I was looking through the stats of the channel and realized that by far, um, my videos with the most views are the ones I've done around infrared. Um, don't know why, the algorithm is a mystery. Um, more recently, I guess, um, the films I did with the Mamiya C330 um, seemed to interest a few folk as well. So I thought, why not combine the two and try infrared photography, but on film? So um, I've bought a roll of Roll Eye 400, um, which I've just stuck in the camera at home in the dark. And uh, yeah, see what happens. So still need to use a filter. So I've got a 720 filter attached to the camera. Um, the reason I decided to use the medium format TLR rather than my SLR film camera um, is that infrared filters are really dark to look through. Um, and as a result, it would have made composing and focusing quite difficult with an SLR. Works okay on digital because the sensor still lets you um, see what's going on, but uh, yeah, visually not so. And of course the TLR, you look through a different lens to focus than you do to take the shot. So anyway, just walking down this footpath, uh, try and find a nice tree to start things off with. Actually, I might backtrack a little and um, yeah, just do a shot looking down the path, possibly. How does this look? Ah, maybe it'll do to start things off. So when uh, shooting with the filter on, because that lowers the amount of light getting into the camera quite a lot, um, they recommend you meter at an ISO of 25, even though it's a 400 film. Um, so the other thing is infrared light focuses slightly differently to visible light, um, but this camera doesn't have markings for um, the adjustment, which some lenses do. So I'm gonna stop down a fair bit, shoot at probably F11, and uh, yeah, that means F11, ISO 25, according to my metering app, um, is about a 15th of a second. So that's why I'm using the tripod and the shutter release, because hand holding it at 15th of a second is going to be pushing it somewhat. So, um, right, I'm all set up. Just compose and take the shot now. I ended up hedging my bets a little bit further and uh, went for f16 at an eighth of a second just to uh, improve the depth of field a little bit. Right, I think now I'm going to head into the trees. Right, heading through this uh, pathway through the trees and I think it does open out to a little lighter area up ahead which may offer some opportunities. So I have to dodge the mud. So we've had so much rain recently and uh, this wood is still quite shady so it's not dried out. So I'm not quite sure there's a shot here um, but the river's all right. It's a bit one-sided, there's lots of trees on one side and lots of sky on the other. Um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work but I might see if the uh, See if the tripod will poke enough over the fence here uh, to give it a whirl. So I've just caught sight of uh, this tree here where a few of the leaves are illuminated a little by the sun. So I've set up a shot, see how that looks. Um, seems to think here we're going to need 
about half a second. So set that and then uh, grab the picture. Might grab one of this bench, see how that looks. Um, I think all the grass surrounding it should light up pretty brightly in, uh, in infrared if it works. Uh, so, yeah. I did realise I'm also being a bit lazy not putting the camera back in the bag each time because I'd have to take it on and off the tripod for every shot. Um, that's probably going to end up being a reasonable test of if the uh, light seals on this camera are okay or not with all this sunlight. We'll see. Right, I think I'm going to take a picture of the footpath here but it's covered in cow shit. So I might do it from a little bit further along where it's uh, less polluted, shall we say. So I think I'll set up just here. Um, the sort of path through the gra uh, grass curves slightly off to the left. Um, I don't know how well you can see it really. It's not an obvious path, but it's there. Um, and try and include some of the white cloud that's up in the sky. If I tilt you down. Uh, yeah. The plan being um, the blue sky should hopefully go fairly dark and the white cloud stay white. Nice contrast. Uh, we shall see. Right, set up. Okay, we're reckoning 13th of a second here. Uh, so 15th is the nearest I've got. Right, and focus to the mid distance. Well, I think that should do. Okay, that's the shot. So I took a picture at the Ford, just up there. Um, I also had to walk through some mud, so my shoes are now wrecked and we'll need cleaning when I get home. Um, anyway, so I've now come along just down to the same bit of river where the Ford is, um, looking back towards the Ford and some nice reeds each side uh, and a pretty cool tree. So yeah, set up a shot here, see how it comes out. Okay, and it looks like we are sixth of a second here, give or take, so... Now I'm going to go for a quarter, just to make sure we get some detail in the darker areas still. Okay. Normally I would explore a little bit further this way, but I don't fancy walking through that mud. Main reason being my um, walking boots have gone off to be looked at because they started leaking um, just on the edge. There's a little bit where the 
Uh, hello, where have I gone? There. Um, the sort of upper had come away from the sole, so they were just within warranty still, so I've sent those off to be uh, looked at, but it means I'm now down to just my sort of daily pair of shoes. Um, mind, I've already covered them in mud, maybe it doesn't matter, but um, anywho, right. Uh, I think what I'll now do is hop back in the car and go uh, a little bit further up the road to Castle Acre um, and just see if there's any shots of either around the castle or around the old priory ruins. Um, I don't think I'll go in, but uh, from the field around the edge you can usually see a reasonable amount. So I've um, just been grabbing a few pictures around the castle ruins here, which I'm hoping should work quite well. I've got one shot left, so uh, find something when I head back to the camera. So last film, just uh, the sort of side angle of the top of the castle and the hill. Um, and that's it, that's the end of the roll. So time to head home and uh, stick it in the developing tank and see what comes out. So yeah. Uh, if you've seen the pictures as we've been going along, then it worked. And if you didn't, uh, it didn't. Well, then would you even be watching this? Well, whatever comes out, I'll stick up. So, yeah, we'll see. Right, head home. <laughs>